Welcome to the fourth edition of Haskell News. I'm Michiana Hutcherson. The Access Club recently held a stomp dance on March 6th at the Stidham Union on the Haskell campus. Fish Pond Grounds from Oklahoma led the dance. The dance was preceded by a social stickball game and dinner provided by the HICC Club. Many students and community members showed up to participate and observe the event. Aside from the dance, the Access Club provided concessions and raffles. For more information about the Access Club, contact Sir Scott at Rowcloud Hall. Meetings for the club are held Wednesdays in Tommany Hall Library at 6 p.m. in room 119. The TRIO program at Haskell provides students with tutors in math, science, and business classes. Reporter Wyman Waters has more on the story. A lot of students have mixed feelings regarding the competency of some of the past and present TRIO tutors. I haven't had a very good experience with the TRIO program. There were times when I needed uh, tutoring for tests and uh, special projects, and the tutors were either not there or not able to help me. TRIO retention specialists say tutors are chosen by referrals from instructors, but no assessments are in place. We don't necessarily have a formal evaluation that we sit our tutors down and, and say, um, you know, or written out. We visit with them weekly bi-weekly, you know, twice a week sometimes. We get feedback and input from them um, about how tutoring is going. We also get feedback from our students. We have uh, several students that, that are usual, that are, you know, going to tutoring a lot, and we'll, we'll visit with them, find out, you know, is the tutoring, uh, is it satisfying their needs? And at the same time, we'll ask our tutors, you know, are the, um, the questions, the uh, subjects, are they are they able to handle them? Students who are not satisfied with their tutoring are welcome to talk to retention specialists. This is Wyman Waters reporting for Haskell News. Haskell students, staff, and faculty are off to Chandler, Arizona for the annual American Indian Higher Education Consortium Conference. Native students from approximately 37 tribal colleges throughout the nation compete in various academic and sports competitions while attending this conference. Many are chosen to participate in various categories ranging from public speaking to traditional contests such as hand games. In sports, the women's basketball team received a bid to the NAIA National Tournament for the first time in the school's history. Coach Phil Homaratha had his team watching the live selection show and said he was extremely proud. If we're the first all Native American college or university team to compete on this level and to go to this level, and to be ranked at this level. To me, that's huge. To me, that's, that, that, that makes my career. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be lying if it didn't. The ladies whose record was 20 and nine, ranked 22nd in the nation, experienced their first time on a national stage at Tyson Event Center in Sioux City, Iowa, going against the number 18, Shawnee State University from Ohio. The Haskell women started off tough with a three-pointer from Justina George, but with constant pressure on her, one player, Autumn Burt, picked up the slack. At halftime, the ladies were only down 31-24, to but SSU came out firing. Turnovers were costly to the Haskell team, and SSU hit seven of nine three-point shot in the end. The game ended with a score of SSU 79, Haskell 40. Maria Parker and Autumn Burt both tallied 10 points apiece with Justina George's 5 points. The ladies had a large audience with many traveling from the nearby Omaha and Winnebago reservations. The Haskell cheerleaders also traveled with a fan bus that took students up for the day ride. Despite field conditions, the Haskell softball team took the field against Baker University. Reporter Rache Castillo has the story. The Lady Indians played against the Wildcats in a two-game loss of 3-6 and 1-6. Shortstop Krista Catron hit a home run into left field. Her teammates cheered her on as she ran into home. That's all for this edition of Haskell News. Be sure to check us out on MySpace and Facebook. Onward Haskell!